time has come to tell you everything. What I'm about to tell you, you might not want to know. Even so, you absolutely must hear it. It will be a long story, but please listen to it all. Sure. Given who you are and how you've lived, what I have to say will tear at your hearts. And there is just so much to tell you. So I've decided to have the stink bug trembling behind me memorize everything I say. Ready, Mr. Stinkbug? Long ago, there existed a world. A world different from what the people on these islands think of. This world was incredibly big. More people lived on this world than there are grains of sand on these nowhere islands. I know it may be hard to imagine, but such a world once existed. Understand? At some point, the world wound up destroyed. Naturally, it was humans who destroyed it. In the back of their minds, everyone had an inkling that it would happen at some point. And then it really did happen. And so, the world is no more. Everything so far has been about the end of the world. Do you understand all of it? Just before the end of the world, a white ship came to these islands. On it were all the people of Tazmili Village. Yes, aboard the white ship were those few who had managed to escape the world. The people on the ships still went by their names from the previous world. This white ship plan had been set in place before the world was destroyed. And although they're part of the world, these nowhere islands are a special place. They were the one place that would remain even if the world was lost. The one and only place where people could survive. And so the white ship arrived at these islands. Everything so far has been about the white ship. Did you understand all of it? Have you committed everything so far to memory, Mr. Stinkbug? The reason these islands are special is because they harbor a giant dragon nearly as large as the islands themselves. Long, long ago, people lived together with the dragon. However, at some point in time, the people and the dragon could no longer coexist. So using the seven needles, the dragon was placed into a long, long sleep by the ancestors of the Mad Gypsy people who have lived here since ancient times. Ever since, the Mad Gypsies have guarded the needles in an effort to prevent the dragon from being woken until its power is truly needed. Thus, until the time of its awakening, the dragon continued to sleep as the power of the earth itself. And so, because of the tremendous energy of the dragon hidden deep below, these islands were protected from the end of the world. Everything so far has been about the dragon and the Magipsies. Did you understand all of it? Those who came here aboard the white ship feared another end of the world more than anything else. They felt that the world's destruction was a direct result of the way they had lived. People of the white ship discussed things at great length. They shared their wisdom and spoke with grave seriousness. And then they arrived at their conclusion. They decided to completely erase everyone's memories of the previous world and start their lives over with new rules and new roles. Yes. In short, everyone would play out the ideal story that they had come up with. That is what happened. The people would restart their lives in a simple, peaceful village, in the kind of place they wished they had grown up in. They would erase their memory of everything, the world, their belongings, their rules. And then they would begin their new lives. Everyone's old memories would be reset and replaced with their newly created story. Thus, the village of Tazmili came to be. However, it was necessary to record the fact that the memory replacement had taken place. The hummingbird egg was a device used to store the memories of the white ship people. Wes and his son Duster, both playing the roles of thieves, were set to take action should a dangerous situation occur. Remember when they went to Oso Castle? They went there to retrieve the secret of the people of the white ship. And there's one other thing. Me. It was essential that one person retain memory of the previous world to sort of keep watch over things. I was the only one in the village of Tazmili who was the 
has been given a new role in this new story. The sound of my bell served as a suggestion to keep everyone's fabricated memories from reverting. My name, Letter, comes from the word leader. No, no, that doesn't mean I wasn't anyone special. It was just that I was particularly taller than all the others. So upon discussion, I was selected because it would be easier for me to stand out. Being so tall, people would want to come see me, you know? And so, I was given the role of revealing these secrets when the time truly called for it. Everything so far has been about those who lost everything. Although Tasmili Village exists in reality, it was originally created as part of a story. I know this may be difficult to believe, but do you understand so far? Let me also talk about Oso Castle. Apparently long ago, a kingdom existed on this island, centered around the King of Oso. However, when we arrived on the White Ship, the people of this kingdom were gone. It seems they had left the islands, fearing the dragon's eventual awakening someday. Before boarding the White Ship, Princess Kumatora was an infant who had lost her mother and father. Upon coming to these islands, she was given to the Magipsies to raise, and given the role of Princess of Oso Castle. Wes and Duster being her retainers was another part of the fabricated story. Oso Castle is one of the few and precious relics of this island's past. We crafted our story in haste so the people inside it have very little past or history. Have you noticed no one in Tasmilla can talk about things from 100 or 1000 years ago? In truth, we had wanted to create an entire plethora of myths and legends. But our story was made in such a hurry that we weren't able to. It's a real shame. I'm sure that much of what I'm saying you'd rather not hear. But it's the truth. Have you listened to everything so far? Have you committed everything so far to memory, Mr. Stinkbug? Truthfully, we had no idea how Tasmili Village would turn out. But things actually went rather well. The people who had arrived on the White Ship had fully taken to their new identities. They believed they had always lived together peacefully. It was when a person by the name of Porky stumbled upon these islands that everything started to go amok. It seems he used a time distorter machine to travel through time and space at will. However, he was apparently shut out from all other times and spaces and tumbled into this era and these islands. Even worse, he used his time distorter to bring many people from other eras here. The pig masks, as well as everyone in Newport City, were all brought here and brainwashed by Porky. This Porky fellow seems to view these islands as his own personal toy box, with which he can do anything he wants. He would take animals apart and recombine them to make creepy new chimeras. As a childlike dictator, he began doing whatever he pleased, including building Thunder Tower and forming his own army. Porky eventually learned the White Ship secret because of a traitor among the Magipsies. You understand about the intruder known as Porky? traitor was Locria, the seventh Magipsy, and the only one you haven't met yet. After Locria joined forces with Porky, Porky learned about the White Ship people and the secret of the Sleeping Dragon. Porky decided to pull the needles to wake the dragon so he could use the power for himself. The dragon is the power of the very earth itself, you see. It's said that whoever pulls the sealing needles will become the dragon's master. However, only a very select few are capable of pulling the dragon's needles. Apparently neither the Magipsies nor Porky had that capability. Yet the needles are being pulled now. That means Porky is somehow controlling someone who can control the dragon's power. We have to put a stop to Porky's antics. If we don't, the world would be completely destroyed again. And it will spell the true end for everything. For Porky, that might be the ultimate pleasure, but we cannot allow it to happen. We, the last handful of people there are, absolutely can't allow it to happen. Lucas, it seems you're a chosen one with the ability to pull the needle sealing the dragon away. You must pull the dark dragon's needle with your own hands. Pass your heart on to the dragon. Let this be my one and only order to you as your leader. Do you understand everything about the dragon's awakening? I hear that six of the dragon's needles have already been pulled. Deep in the earth, the dragon is likely beginning to stir from its sleep now. Supposedly the last needle is somewhere here in New Park City. 
Porky has been gathering everything that lives on these islands into New Pork City to prepare for the final needle's pulling. It's possible that he's planning to hold one final twisted party. But now is our chance to change this looming crisis into a golden opportunity. All things may come to an end, or new and bountiful things may begin. Wouldn't you like to help that happen? Lucas, you were once a weak, fragile boy, but now you've been given a tremendous role to fulfill. Now that you know everything, including everything I'm sure you'd rather not know, the time has come for you to save the future of all life as we know it. God won't make you bear more than you can carry. I'm sure you've heard that phrase before. Know that you aren't fighting alone. Everyone, and I do mean everyone, will lend you their support. Now it's a long story, but that is the end of everything I have to tell you. Did you understand it all? Only the Mad Gypsies really know the Needle's locations, so I don't know where to find them. But from the way Porky and the others have been acting, I would say they're now very close to reaching the Seventh Needle. Please, Lucas, be the one who pulls the final needle. Porky issues his orders from the 100th floor of the Empire Porky Building. Start by jumping into the fray and storming the building. After that, you can start looking for clues. It's been such a long time since I've spoken to anyone, and now I'm exhausted. The stink bug should remember everything I've just said. Take him with you. That way, if you happen to forget anything I've said here, you can ask him to repeat it. Will you go with them, Mr. Stinkbug? Okay then, now we have the Stinkbug here. Stinkbug's memory. And, now we have our goal. We have to go into the Empire Porky building, and we have to stop Porky from pulling that needle. And now that that's done, I know this episode was nothing but dialogue, I think I'm just going to end it off right here with this awesome- Okay, the music's done. But, yep, I'm just going to end it off right here, so see you guys next time for some more Mother 3.